Eshoo Walk is a photorealistic, real-time animation program for Google SketchUp. With Eshoo Walk, you can create photorealistic walkthrough animations of your SketchUp model. Eshoo Walk displays sunlight, moonlight, artificial lights, reflections, bump maps, and material shininess. Eshoo Walk has two programs that get installed. One is a SketchUp plugin that allows you to apply reflections and lighting to the model. The other is the standalone real time animation program shown here that imports SketchUp models. With SU Walk, you can turn your SketchUp presentation from this to this photorealistic animation. Let's open this model in SketchUp. The toolbar here is the user interface for Eshiwalk's SketchUp plugin. First, I'm going to apply reflections to the water. I can use Flat Mirror feature to apply reflections to a planar face. To use Flat Mirror, I need to turn this SketchUp face into a group. Once I've created a group, I context click on the group and pick Flat Mirror. Flat mirror reflection needs to be applied to the front side of a SketchUp face. The red perpendicular line tells Eshoo Walk that this is the front side of the face. Once the front side is identified, I need to apply reflections to the flat face group. Let me summarize the flat face mirror process. 1. Turn the face into a group. 2. Apply the flat mirror to the group and identify the front side. 3. Apply reflection amount. A similar process to flat mirror is true for environment mapping. Let's turn this ball into a fully reflected object. It has many faces, so I want to use environment mapping instead of flat mirror. The ball is already a group, so just context click and apply environment mapping to it. There's no need to identify a front side for environment mapping. Just apply reflections. I'm going to apply 90% reflections to make it very reflective. The bad side to environment mapping is reflections cannot be applied to large faces. So for large planar faces, use flat mirror. Next, I want to add some artificial lighting. Currently, the only way to add artificial lighting is to use Eshoo Podium version 2's point lights or spotlights. This will change in subsequent Eshoo Walk betas. If you do not own a full or trial version of Podium version 2, you can use the free Eshoo Podium browser and drag and drop some of the many light fixtures into the model. Since the Podium light fixtures already have Podium point lights in them, it's an easy way to add artificial lighting to the model. As you can see, I have dragged and dropped a few wall and ceiling lights into this model using the free Podium browser. Now I'm going to add bump maps to the wall texture. Bump maps and shine are relatively easy to add. Use the eyedropper from Issue Walk Material dialog, select the SketchUp material, and then add bump or shininess. In this case, I'm going to give the wall material a lot of bump maps. After I'm done, I save the model and I'm ready to import the model into Issue Walk.
From SUWalk's file menu, import the SketchUp model. When the file is imported, for this presentation, I'm turning shadows always on. You have the option to have shadows off to save graphic memory, but let's leave it on. Also, I'm changing the background setting from texture to simulation because I want to simulate sun position and shadows. Let's also change my time from 4 a.m. or 2 4 a.m. to create a nighttime effect. By pushing the mouse forward, I can fly through the model. As you can see, real time reflection, real time lighting is being displayed. Let's create a keyframe animation. First, open the preset dialog. You can see I already have six keyframes. Two are SketchUp scenes that I imported with the model. To create new camera views or keyframes, move the camera forward to a new position. Then click on the arrow icon. This will record the new camera position as a new view or keyframe. Keep doing this to create several views. For this demonstration, I will create two new views and then delete them. Before creating the animation path, let's look at the menu at the bottom of the screen. Camera height is 1.7 meters, or about 5 feet 7 inches. Camera field of view is set here. Camera speed is the recording speed. I'm going to slow this down. The rest of the menu I will leave in default. When I am done creating the sequence of views, I highlight all the views. And then click on the K icon to create a keyframe animation path. Let's run path 1 by double clicking on it. Issue Walk creates an animation path from the sequence of camera views that were placed in the preset dialog. You can delete or add views. You can also move views up and down the preset list to change the sequence. To create a new animation path, highlight the views you want and click on the K icon. Run the path by double clicking on it. To stop the animation, use your escape key. Once you are satisfied with the animation path, you can create MPEG or AVI video files by clicking on the Film icon. Note, the IMP icon is for importing issue animate paths. Let's run the completed MPEG video to see the final result.